everybody, GamerPenny here, bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And we're back with Baird Beam, and today we're going to turn in our quest where we found Gandalf's hat, and what else did we find? Some blackened robes, I think, or something. Oh well, uh, let's turn these in. These are troubling signs. I fear for the wizard. Mm-hmm. You describe your discovery of Gandalf's burned hat in the middle of the Black Lake and of the rubble that chokes the endless stair. Langlamel sighs. Your news of Mithrandir and the lack of news concerning my friend Magor both fill me with anxiety, for we still do not know their fates. I thank you for it, but it could be that Magor at least may soon return to us. Dilthaluin found something while you were away. We Who? must stop Mazog Zorks before they unleash an evil we cannot counter. This little one found an elf stone, much like the ones I gave you earlier, by the cave mouth to Azana, Azana Rekgar, from which emanate a vile stench. You did not place this stone, Beardbeam. It must have been Magor. But why would he have left the stone rather than return to the camp himself? I think the cave Magor found must be the source of the great evil Lady Galadriel sensed beneath Moria, Beardbeam. If you can rescue Magor from its clutches, he may be able to tell us something of its power. Gather your courage, friend. Whatever this new fell craft be, it could best be great. If it could best a great elf like Magor in combat, it must be dangerous indeed. Oh. Okay. So we're going to a dungeon. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready. Ready, Freddy. With the absence of the Balrog, other mm. powers less great, yet terrible still, have arisen in the dark places. Marzog has sent his orcs into the shadowy abyss to entreat or control these powers, though it may prove his undoing. Okay. I kind of remember this one. I remember it being Lawn, actually. to kill berserkers and whatnot. Maybe it won't be too long if we're a little over leveled. Oh. I'm gonna zoom in for a little bit while we're in here. What do we need to do? Kill f oh, five of these guys and Doug Luck. I don't know who Doug Luck is. We will come. Did it say in this? Oh, we scrolled way beyond it. Any of these berserkers? Yes. Go we'll get them. Why are you attacking me? Mavar attacked you first, man. Okay, we got those two. Um, oh, I saw you. So we're we supposed to go down? I don't think there's a way over there, so I'm assuming down. Don't, don't do that. No. Dang it, he's gonna full heal. I can't get that off fast enough. Alright, I'm not gonna use spells until that's gone. There we go. Alright, so I zoom down this way. What was that? I'm gonna be fighting some fire grims, looks like. I get these guys. Hey. Okay. Other 
Berserk. Uh oh. Shadow Rodmall. Uh, welcome to Answer. There's much to talk about. Will you come with us? Why do we trust you? Why not talk here? I see. Simply put, your death approaches from behind. You'll be safe with us. It is true. Others approach. We are exposed. We need to go. Creepy. So be it then. Lead the way. That's Doug Luck. I need to kill him. Wait, I want to come with. Okay, bye. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Okay. Well, where do I go from here then? Down there. I hear weird noises. Oh, because there's a troll. Get him. Well, they defeated the troll. Alright. thought something was behind me. Okay, I do see that burning thing running up and down here. Get him. And another one. How do they fool us so? We must kill the elf and make the rog mole happy. Uh oh, I'm overhearing something I don't think I'm supposed to yet. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you guys. Tell me what you know, elf. Is that the elf mo mogul or something we're supposed to be rescuing? Hopefully we can actually- oh! I almost lagged <laughs> up there. Hopefully we can actually save him. I miss the screams of captured orcs from close by, an elven cry reaches your ear. Okay, what's happening right now? There's lots of stuff. Okay, is there something else? Ca yeah, kill that guy. What's this? Don't you touch them. Oh! Okay. That's from our uh, passive tree, I think. Alright, where'd- where's our elf friend first? There's this over here. I can't do anything with it. Intruders! Gloves not lie to me! Where's our elf friend? He might be behind us, maybe. Snaga Slayer. Did we complete that? Okay, yeah, we completed the first tier. Bane of the Infected. That's a pretty cool... That's actually a really cool title. Alright, is there anything else back here? I think that's the way we go. I do see these guys over here. Where's our elf friend? I, we heard his cry. Do you dare to attempt entering here? Yeah. I smell of trickery behind my capture. Doug Luck. Wait, has Doug Luck been captured? Are they turning in him into uh, Globsnaga? How did they fool us though? We must kill the elf and make the Rogmul happy. Is that 
a troll? There's also a troll back there. Doug Luck. All right. Oh, and we got the. Those were the last two berserkers. Okay. I'm following along. <laughs> this. Some of this. All right. Talk to Magor. Bud. Oh, there's doors down here, too. The shadow must fall. Back! You will never defile me with your poison. Good. They are gone. I am relieved. I thought for certain I would become like them. A monstrosity. They came upon me unaware and surrounding me and taking me captive. One hears rumors of such twisted fates, but now I have seen the wicked pool of filth that corrupts the very depths of this place. I saw it with my own eyes. I will give you a moment to collect your thoughts, and then you must follow me. We will crush these monsters before they can corrupt aught else beyond this wicked place. This will be a great task. I can only imagine what horrors we will face as we penetrate the area. Hurry, gather your wits, and make ready. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Things that dwell in the dark shall now know fear. Like that? Oh no. We're not gonna fight that troll back there? We got bigger fish to fry, apparently. <laughs> there, there's a troll. Get him! Oh, were we just gonna bypass him? Uh oh. Did I just get a deed for doing that? Oh no. <laughs> I haven't used that ever before. <laughs> Alright, let's debuff. That's funny, I've never used those skills before. Ready, Magor. Got a fire grim. Oh, and a dark grim. Nope. Kill this thing, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, this one is a pretty long one. This cave is huge. We must be careful here. Something stirs below. What? What stirs? We're RP walking. Okay. Attack before we can- What? Attack before we are seen. Let's cleanse this cave. Done. Attacked. Okay, and get this guy. 
So is this where they make all the globs, Naga? Or where the, all that- Because we've been investigating that infestation. Like in every zone, almost. So I wonder if- I know we found out that it's in the water. Is this where, like, it originated? Is that the lore behind this? Uh-oh. That doesn't look fun. Defeat the Gloomwalker, defeat the Flame Drinker. Something terrible remains here where none should dwell. I must go for help. Be careful as you move deeper. What? My dude. This guy. Can you believe him? I feel like as a like elf warrior, an emissary, be like, alright, I'll take care of this. Instead of sending the old man in there. Nothing back there. Alright, I don't think I want to step on these purple- Flame Drinker. Hey, friend. That is enough. Uh, we did not stand guard all these years to be thwarted by mortals. We will protect our new lord. You or us. Decide. Your new lord. Is it Mazog, your new lord? Or... The big guy? Oh, look at that. Like a... Flame Drinker. Gloomwalker. Yeah, I don't think- for sure I think I don't want to stand on these purpley bits. Can you not? I bet this was cool to do as a- as a regular dungeon group. Uh oh. What happens if I go stand on that? Is it like instant death? I mean, part of me wants to do it for science, but also I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna move over this way. It's getting closer. Uh-oh. It's getting real close now. This one is pretty cool. I like this. That is the one thing I wish I did more in this game was group content, but uh, I guess when we get up there, when we get up a little in levels, we could start doing some of the en like end game group content might be where we're able to get into groups. Just a little level stuff. There's hardly anything. Okay, Gloomwalker. Defeat Gwathnor. Who the heck? Gwathnor. Uh oh. That Gwath. Jesus. <laughs> This is terrifying! You send one old man to go down here and do all this stuff? What about all these orcs? Hello everybody! Watch your flanks! If you text, we must be ready! What is happening? Help us! Sorry orcs, I do not help you. Why did he bring us here? Run for your life! He comes, get ready. I'm gonna kill all these orcs one fell swoop. Alright. Cool. Go. Alright, we'll do tar. Oh my god. 
We'll do uh, this guy. A little of this, a little of that, a little of this, a little of that. Hey, can you guys not dragon flame fire me? There's something else. Oh, there are. There are Grims in here. Okay, so we might do some AoE just because there's stuff in here. He looks sick though. He's a nemesis? Oh no, he's an ancient evil? Yeah. Oh god. Excuse me. Ah! I'm on the void! I'm I'm invisible! Help me! What happened here? Okay. Hi bar! I got sucked into the depths of the void! Alright, is he dead? Man, if that's not something cool that this old man defeated by himself. Wait an instance. New devilry. Up to Langdamel. Ah! Well done indeed. I am impressed that such a deed was accomplished by the likes of you. Really? You're gonna. <laughs> you say that to my face. <laughs> Let us leave this place, Baird Beam. We have been too long in the presence of this evil, and my heart longs for re relief from the dread of it. That was cool. I liked that one. I, like I said, I, th I feel like that would be really cool, um, in an actual group. We have vanquished a great terror, but I fear that more dangers sleep in the darkness. Uh, Magor, to Magor told us everything, Baird Beam, and he has set off on a journey back to Lothlorien to inform the Lady Galadriel of what has transpired. Your feats are truly incredible, my friend. Not only have you rescued Magor, but you have thwarted the plans of not only the orcs, but more importantly, of Gorothal of Dol Gador as well. You are wholly remarkable. You have Magor's highest praise and my own. Thank you. What do these look like? Cool? No. These? Eh, those are kind of cool. Those are sick. You must return <laughs> to Lady Galadriel at once. There is no okay. time to delay. Uh, you must return to Lothlorien at once, Baird Beam. The Lady Galadriel will want to speak with you about what has happened here and what it will mean for the future. Speak with Haldir atop the flat south of the river Nimrod, and he will arrange a meeting with the Lady. Okay. Um, now here's the thing. How the heck do we get there from here? First hall. But is there a ride from the Shadowed Refuge? Because my <laughs> milestone is down. Um, hmm. I hope there's a ride from here to the first hall. Greetings, friend. Are you lost? There is. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I should be. Look at all this. All these goodies we got. Um, hmm. Okay, first hall. We are arriving. I need to clear this out at some point. <laughs> oh, show my music. Oh, we should be very close. What book is this actually? Chapter 9. Book 6. Chapter 9. Oh, we should actually be real close to wrapping up May Durin this return book. Soon to his halls. Nope. And then uh, I do have. Let me see here. I think I have the next ones there. Yeah. Book seven. Or, yeah, book seven. I don't have book eight, but we do have the start of book nine. And that's Mirkwood. Okay, so we have six, seven, and eight before we take on Mirkwood. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 
I could have got on the goat here, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright. Let us go down Slide to... Middle. Really? I could end a still. We don't have swift travel here? It's a completed deed, ally of Lothlorien. Unbelievable. We're one quest away. <laughs> uh. That's alright. We'll make our way down there. We'll wrap up. I think that is gonna wrap up. Um, this one. We'll add that to tracker. Yes. We get a class trait. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll start. So I'll put. Um, I'll put this one on there. Yes. Okay. So that's just gonna be our lead into what we're gonna do next. So we're about to finish a lot. I do want to do one more quest and get that uh, ally of Lothlorien. We're going to be running around here a lot, I think. I think book 7 and book 8 are cool, if I remember. They're just kind of... Well, I won't spoil it. <laughs> In case no one's seen it. <laughs> I do remember liking them a lot, because we get to run around Lothlorien. Okay, drop me off here. And we will go see Haldir. Hey, Rumil. Over here. Uh, hell dear. What's this? We may have need of your help. Oh, no, 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 no. If you offer it willingly. Okay. You may enter the Golden Wood, but tread with care, or punishment shall be swift. Man, that voice does not match what I imagine hell dear to be like. Uh, the Lady Galadriel has called you to her garden, for you, she wishes to speak with you. I will take you to her. Baird beams finally getting Jealously to me. Jealously do I guard my secrets, not the least of which is my mirror. Still, there are times which require a greater knowledge, and this is one such time. Shadows gather in the east, and the fates of lost friends burns in the heart. Cool. Look at this, how cool it is. Yeah, Baird beams finally getting to Galadriel. He met her in part in like passing a little bit earlier, um, but now I think they are about to have their big conversation. Because remember, when he first had his dream, he was standing right here and he looked into Galadriel's mirror. I know what befell you in the darkness, and that your courage did not fail. I'm aware of your kindness to Magor beneath the mountains, Baird Beam. You are now held high in his esteem, and he accords you great fondness for your part in his rescue. Strange deeds unravel on the many paths of your journey, for as your footsteps led you to and fro, I perceive that many fates are entwined with your own. Some of your tales seem ended, but locked doors may yet be pried open. My mirror can show many things, and you may ask it what you will, but heed this before you peer into the water. Many valuable answers may come unbidden. Look now and see what may be seen. So this is huge for Baird Beam because it's finally answering his question of 
uh, you know, his whole story is that he had this offspring that he never bore that was supposed to be this great hero, so he took up the mantle. So now he's asking Gladrill, where do I go from here? And she's about to give him an answer, maybe? Look into the mirror. Mithrandir faced his match in Moria, a balrog of Morgoth. Into the depths they fell, then rose again up the endless stair. There Brothers. they did battle one against the other, and the fire of it was terrible. In the end, Mithrandir threw down the balrog, though he himself fell into shadow. Yet who is to say what his end might be? Not all hope is yet lost. Okay. We find out about Gandalf. Why here the Wind Lord will find Gandalf if he is to be found anywhere in Middle Earth? Ah. Oh. Some light is now shed on the riddles. Do you not agree? The clues left behind among the foundations of stone begin to form a clear picture at last. Gandalf the Grey strove in Moria with shadow and flame, and they fell, and perhaps rose again. Who had the mastery? It has been said that my eyes see farther than many who are deemed wise, yet keener eyes we need to pierce the darkness that shrouds Mithrandir from my sight. Who can spy upon Moria from all sides and gain rumor of the fate of Gandalf? Only Gwahir, the Windlord, can do this. I saw more than the fate of Mithrandir behind your eyes, Beardbeam. I saw glimpses of your own fate as well. The prize of knowledge, it waits, ripe for the taking. A library at the pinnacle of the Black Spire, secrets untold. Enemies without and within. How far will your heart take you for your limitless knowledge, Lore Master? But the mirror shows many things, and not all of them may come to pass. Of Mithrandir, at least the vision is clearer. Wahir, the Windlord, rests in the rear of my garden. Tell him what you have seen. We get- I forgot we get to actually talk to Gwahir! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm such a nerd because that's so exciting. <laughs> hey Gwahir! I have carried Gandalf before now, and if he yet lives, I will carry him again. I will send out the sharpest sided eagles to seek him from every corner of this land, and I will fly until we have learned what befell him. If he is to be found, I and my kind will find him. Return to the lady and tell her I will do this. I know that Gwahir will find Mithrandir if he is to be found. Haldir will show you from this place, Beardbeam. I will call for him. Okay. So he, he didn't really get answers, but he's kind of like, Alright, you saw that my path goes on. Black Spire. Uh, could they mean Dol Guldur, maybe? Mm. You have my thanks. The Lady Galadriel can see much in her mirror, but it is not known to her or any power whether that what she has shown you will come to pass. One day, perhaps, you will look back on your lawn road and make sense of what you saw today. Only time can tell such things. I thank you for the service you have provided my people, and may the light of the elves shine upon your path and guide your steps aright. For those unfamiliar to Galadrim, we shall name you friend and allow you to enter our fair home. Oh, yeah. So we got Avenger of Khazad-dûm. So we're done with Moria. <laughs> we're never going back there again. <laughs> no, we, I love Moria. So we, we might head back in there at some point. Uh, there's probably some deeds that we want to get done as well. Okay. And we got a point, right? And we picked up chapter 7, so we're good to do that. Um, I think we got a class point. Yes. And I want to put that. Did I decide where I want to put that? Pet morale. What's this one? Eh, enemies who interrupt us. What's this? 
In a critical hit, your pet will sacrifice 2% of its morale to heal 2% of your max morale. <sighs> Should I start saving for some of this? Although, I'll probably just put... Yeah, let's just do that for now. We're gonna get tons more points, I think. Okay. And at some point, we'll probably respec a little bit. Alright, let us go talk to Milwyn. She is up here? Okay. I think so. <laughs> Alright, so now we are a, a friend of the Galadrim. Man, this is exciting! Let's go find Milwim. Oh, get out of here. And then, once we do one more quest, we're technically done with, uh... With Lothlorien as well. But, wait. Is this a thing? Can I go up here? Do I discover a deed if I go up here? Talon Dolaneth. Alright. Every time I see one of those, I'm gonna click on it just so we can... Get that deed as well. Okay. Going the wrong way. I need to go this way. And the, um... Kind of like... F fozzy... Fozziness. <laughs> Fogginess of this place. Um, almost hurts my eyes a little bit. I wonder if you can turn down that, like, ambient glow or whatnot. Oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> I think I have to cross that, actually. Okay, let's go over there. I'm gonna go get this uh, travel stable master up here. Where Milwyn is. Yeah. Wonder if it's just along the road? Should I just stick on the road? Probably. Any other ladders to climb? Aaron Lair. And it's beautiful in here. for ladders, but they're probably not right off the path. Still going. Yeah, okay, it's heads, heads up there. Where does that one go? Maybe I should have followed that one. Oh, what's that? the heck? We'll have to go see what that is in a second. Nothing on the map. I mean, it's hidden all beneath twee- twees? Trees, so... <laughs> ah, Milwyn. Hello. Uh, but can I get the horse first? Thank you. May Gavanen. May Gavanen. <laughs> Welcome to Karen Amroth. Few only have had the joy of seeing this place. Uh, welcome to Karen Amroth, Baird Beam. Few only have had the joy of seeing it in these fading times. Its beauty a remnant only of the majesty it once held. For on this mound, Amroth, Lord of Loth Amroth, Lord of Lorien, built his house. In the days before his love was lost and he himself vanished from Middle-earth. It is said that when the south wind blows upon the hill, if you listen for the sound of the gulls, you might hear still Amroth calling, calling for his lost love Nimrodil. But she never came back. Milwyn pauses a moment, but with a light laugh she recovers herself. Do not look sad, Baird Beam. Karen Amroth should be a reminder of happier days. Walk upon the grass and be joyful. Your sorrows will not follow you here. A moment, friend, before you go. Where you go, Baird Beam? You should know that you are not the only visitor that has come to Lorien in recent days. In fact, I understand that you are known to these guests, and they will be pleased to see you. 
uh, the, the hobbit, Frodo Baggins, is resting with some members of his company on the crest of the hill. I do not know what errand has brought them to the Golden Wood, or if you have been entrusted with knowledge of it, but I am sure he will be pleased to see you. Okay, let's go find Frodo, man. Orthir? Scholar of the Trees. Okay. That's pretty over there. Oh, that's, um... I may tread every path upon the Middle Earth and never see a place like this again. Truth. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, a ladder for us to climb. Hello, friends. Karen Amroth. February 15th. Greetings. If you have a moment, I have need of your assistance. My Govanin, friend, I am Manassiel. How fare you and whither you and whither go you? I? I am here to gather some of the Eleanor that grows so brightly upon this hill. An extract of the juice from its stem and heart make a marvelous golden yellow color. The creation of pigments and paints is an art unto itself, nearly as engaging as the uses to which I am I and my fellow artists put them. Unfortunately, it is time consuming, unless if you had some time to aid me, it would be most appreciated. You have not the knowledge of refining the raw ingredients, uh, but you could help gather them. Stark white chalk can be pried out of the soft white rocks along, all along the rock face north of here. Berries from some of the local plant life provide the base for a vibrant red dye. These bushes grow in relative abundance in the forest west of Cairn Amroth. Okay, I will do that because I want these sticks. And you? A shadow falls beyond Lothlorien, against which we must be prepared. My Govanin, Lord Master. I am Melindathor, one of the wardens of the revered woodlands of Cairn Amroth, and I, I and my fellows have accepted the solemn charge of custodianship. We ensure that the forests are not thrown out of balance. A problem has come to my attention within the last few decades. A particular birch, the Malbrethil, has not been seen as often as in days past, and when it is sighted, the saplings seem spindly and overly delicate. I want you to find and examine some of these saplings, if you would, that we might determine the cause of their malady. Sure. But can I find Frodo? Yep. Hey -o. All right, we're gonna climb this. He's up, right? Or is he down here? Oh, hi, Frodo. Is that Sam? Yeah, Sam. Ergen has not returned here to Cairn Amro since we arrived. We have come such a long way, haven't we? Bairdbeam, when Milwyn told me another traveler from over the mountains had come to Lothlorien, I had no idea it would be you. We've come such a long way, haven't we? There is still a long way to go, but here in Lothlorien, I have found it difficult to worry too much about the road ahead. You have to tell Sam and me what has happened since we parted, my friend. It feels like a lifetime has passed since leaving Rivendell, and several at least since last I saw Bag End. But Sam does not seem as surprised to see you as I am, Bairdbeam. You haven't become the chief conspirator of another conspiracy, have you, Sam? Hey, Sam. Hello there. Hello there, Bairdbeam. Me, a conspirator? It's not like that at all, Mr. Frodo, and you know I'm not cut out for the keeping of secrets, despite your teasing. It's just that so many queer things have happened to us already, and this place being so elvish and all, I've just about given up being surprised when something out of the ordinary happens. And here comes Bearbeam, out of the woods, right enough. You should find Mr. Mary somewhere around this hill, Bearbeam. I know he'll be pleased as anything to see you. He's, talk he's taking one of his walks, and might be resting in a private garden nearby. Okay, we will do that, but I want I I want to go up here. Hello, a barterer. What brings you to Lothlorien? Okay, now we talking. Oh my god! Yo, a Lorien bench. We get stuff for our house. Okay, Lorien fancy robe. What's that look like? I know this is not what you guys signed up for, but what's that look like in gray? Because that is Bear Beam's uh, color. Well, it's not bad. Okay, maybe we could get some elvish, elvish stuff. What do you have? What news from abroad? Music boxes. Hmm. Potions. That's it. Is that Gimli? <gasps> And Legolas? And then we have some... I'm... Um, you guys give branches? Greetings. 
If you have a moment, I have need of your assistance. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna read those. I just kind of want the branches. Welcome to the okay. Golden Wood. May we speak? Okay. Maybe we could get a robe if we need so. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got some Lothlorien quests. We've also got the book quest. Um, I wish Gandalf were here. I would feel much more courageous if he were with us. Yes, and your very presence is filling my heart with dread, Frodo. There's a reason for that, but... <laughs> All right, so I think we'll go ahead and end here. How many do these give each? Three, one, two. So we get six. Uh, we'll get seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12. We'll have 13. I think I need to take one more quest to get 15 to get that robe. Uh, but I also want to check to see what we can buy with them actually in Karis Gladhan. So. Maybe there's a fancier robe or something, or a... I don't know. We have to put together our outfit. I have the outfit for after Mirkwood, but I don't have our Mirkwood outfit ready yet. So I gotta work on that. <laughs> Alright, so I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.